Hello everybody and welcome back to Anexus TV. This is Kai Knight and this is the final that we've all been waiting for. It is the Prague Challenge Final 2013 between the Brits and the uh, European mix team. The Brits being Anexus and the European mix team being Nostalgia. So uh, one thing that will change though in this cast is the fact that I'm holding my microphone in my hand which means um, I'm going to struggle to try and reach the control button to uh, allow you guys to view the mini map. So you're going to have to bear me with that one, but hopefully uh, the fact that I've got my microphone in my hands will help me be slightly more enthusiastic rather than leaning all over my desk and uh, really closing up my lungs. Anyways, MX and HUSG, we saw there on the A-bomb site. Apex somehow makes his way into into Arch, and now he's going to start making his way round the A-bomb site through CT spawn. However, there still are two CTs on the A-bomb site. They haven't yet realised that Apex will probably attack the CTs from behind. Kenny, X ma Kenny S sorry, makes his way into that A-bomb site and gets kill number one for the round. Can he make it two? Yes, he can. Went towards the ruins area, took down HUSG with that Glock of his. Obviously, the Glock is a very good weapon. Um, on Counter-Strike Global Offensive, Taz gets on the score sheet himself, released now, he's going to attempt and retake this bomb site. takes down both Taz and Neo, now it's all down to Kenny S and Overdrive, surely they're not going to give this round away, Kenny S and Overdrive creating the crossfire, Kenny S knows where release is, and Kenny S knows how to finish him off, and that is round one for the European mix team in Nostalgia, obviously, for those of you guys who did not follow this whole match as a whole. It was a best of three game. An Nexus one map num number one. I was going to attempt and uh, say numero or something like that, but then I realised it's probably Spanish and not French. Um, uh, yep, which was on DDoS 2. So obviously we were discussing before as well that British teams do tend to be pretty decent at DDoS 2, whilst French teams, unfortunately for Anexus in this case, um, tend to be pretty decent at Inferno. So Nostalgia did win map 2, and uh, which was on D Mirage, and now obviously here we are on Inferno. Inferno though, still is a, quite a strong British map, I mean, we're gonna, really going to have to see what happens, but if Anexus do end up losing this game, well, Kenny S, forget what I was saying before, Kenny S lands a beautiful headshot onto Hoods G, making his way into that A-bomb site, has a tough clue where MX is, and will take him down as well, MX peaked him, I don't know why he did that, Kenny S knew more or less where he was, and Kenny S with this Glock of his, can he make it 3? Yes, he can! How does Kenny S do that with his with his with his Glock? And now he's making his way through CT spawn. All the terrorists are on the hunt for release and overdrive. The Russian, of course, the X1.6 player, taking him down. But what a round from Kenny S! I'll tell you what, I'm just going to spectate Kenny S from now on. I mean, Nostalgia won the first round. Kenny S, obviously being an Orpa, decided to stick with his Glock. With his pistol, not by a P90 or a Galil or, you know, a proper gun like the rest of his teammates. And then he just walks into that B bomb site and takes down two counter terrorists. I mean, Anexis, get your game together. You can't let, I mean, Kenny S is a world class player, but you can't let him do that with only a Glock. But anyway, 2 0 nostalgia. Um, we are going to see an early buy from Anexis, which is going to make things interesting. They do have Famases. That's a bit of a tongue twister, isn't it? Always is trying to pluralize a word with the letter S on the end of it. But anyways, release now on the A bomb site. I'm going to keep getting these bomb sites mixed up, guys, because I am an X source player myself. I mean, I'm not quite sure why they changed B to A and A to B. And as you probably realize, it is a slow round, so I'm trying to come up with, uh, well, not crap, but <laughs> trying to allow the time to pass and enter well do my job and entertain you guys so uh, 40 seconds and the clock remains ticking 2-0 to nostalgia here on round three and it looks like we're gonna have an a push let's have a look at kenny s makes his way into that a bomb site with his glock but he will get taken down by releases famas him and uh, hoods g had a very nice crossfire there on the A-bomb site. However, Nostalgia level things up. Taz and Apex get on the store she score sheet. Release coming from behind to give Anexis a small one-man advantage. Taz spots Rattlesnake and deals a bit of damage onto him. The bomb, however, is down and the CTs know that. Taz is going to pick the bomb up and is going to look to plant it. Release is going to make his way from the back of the bomb site. Here's the bomb going down. Tries to take out Taz. Can he do it? Yes, he can. Now it's all between Rattlesnake and Overdrive. Rattlesnake on one HP and Overdrive will pull his Glock out and finish him off to get round number three for Nostalgia. So, uh, not as, a, as much of a successful round for Nostalgia, but a win is a win. 
And particularly considering Nexus did do that early FAMAS buy, well, Nexus are going to be broke at the moment. Let's take a look at their money. Well, 3K, 2.4, yet yeah, they are broke. Uh, this is the fourth round, so on paper they should be buying. But because they went for the early buy, you know, it's not really... Things um, aren't really going in their favour as far as finances are concerned. And obviously they can't keep on expecting to try and play for a few rounds. If they, all they've got is the CT starting pistol... And Nostalgia are coming at them with AK-47s. But now we're going to see what's going to happen now. Neo uh, quite intelligently makes his way into the balcony area. He has been spotted though. What's going to happen here? CT's playing it cool. Kenny S. I'll, I'll tell you what. Kenny S is ripping this A bomb site, this B bomb site, sorry, into pieces. I'll tell you what. I, all I want to do is just watch him. But he is dead. So Neo with that kill onto Husey. Four versus two at the moment. Nexus, it has to be said, getting absolutely whitewashed. Overdrive as well, taking down release with a nice AK bullet to the face. And it looks like it's going to be Nostalgia round number four here on DE Inferno. Not good enough, not good enough from Nexus. I mean, there's no other way to really put it. I mean, Nostalgia really slicing Nexus apart at the moment, particularly Kenny S and that Glock of his. I mean... There's no excuse being on the fourth round to really, you know, have a terrorist push you in your bomb site and take you out repeatedly. Particularly when a lot of teams only play one counter terrorist on that B bomb site because it is a smaller B, it is a smaller bomb site and there's only one entrance to it on paper. Assuming you've got a counter terrorist in, uh, in, uh, in where is it? In the uh, in the arch area, but. The Nexus are playing two counter terrorists and they still can't deal with Kenny S. So. Uh, <laughs> Let's have a look at Kenny S. He does have that big green gun now. And uh, some of you guys will be pleased to hear that Nexus themselves have finally bought up. So Kenny S with a nice nade. Deals damage onto Rattlesnake. Kenny S with a lovely quick scope onto Hughes. I'll tell you what, Kenny S is absolutely tearing Nexus apart here. I don't know how he does it. But oh, anyone watching this and uh, wanting to either become an AWPer or wanting to uh, take up Counter-Strike professionally, I'll tell you what. Download this guy's demos and watch him. He knows what he's doing. Release evens out the scoreline with a nice pick on the B bomb site by uh, dropping uh, Apex. It was Apex. And now 4 nil as it still stands. Release is the only CT on this A bomb site, but we know the T's are already on the B bomb site. What can Hudge G do now? Can he take down Kenny S? Kenny S, take a bow, son. Another beautiful quick scope. He just turns around. Left clicks, right clicks, lands that bullet in Hoods G, and an Exis at the moment. Well, uh, Nostalgia are making an absolute fool of him. Can Rattlesnake get an exit frag onto Neo? Yes, he can, as you guys saw there. But so far, not good enough. And Kenny S, more or less, exploding all over an Exis at the moment. So the terrorists looking to track down these CTs, who obviously want to save their weapons and there goes the bomb so Kenny S spent six point seven thousand dollars that round well, I'll tell you what he's worth it if you keep pulling off frags like that let's go and spectate him because uh, you know if, the, if you want something special from a player then uh, watch Kenny S he was uh, an ex Counter Strike source player was an AWPer there as well, but I think it's safe to uh, say that he's improved significantly in Counter-Strike Global Offensive, so fair play to him. But obviously, we are seeing another buy round from Anexus, which is going to be interesting, because if they lose this one, then they'll pretty much be crippled as far as finances are concerned. So look at how aggressive Kenny S plays with that AWP. It's, 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 it's beautiful to watch, really. You'd think he has an AK-47 in his hands, and uh, so uh, too easy for Nostalgies. They easily made their way onto Arch. Release will drop Apex, and he will have had it called. That Kenny S was there, but Husey will take him out as well. So four versus three. Taz walking towards this B-bomb site. It is clear, but... One of the CTs has made his way into ruins, so are they just going to walk past each other? Or actually, Taz might walk right into who I think is Rattlesnake. Yep, let's have a look at what Taz is going to do. If Taz can get this pick and confirm that the B bomb site is clear, which he can, now Taz is going to start making his way into the bomb site and will want to get the bomb down. So we're seeing a, well, a rotation of some sort from an Nexus. 
Husey and release, making their way up Banana. And Hoods G making his way through CT spawn. So what can we see pulled out of the bag now from an Nexus? The bomb is down and it is ticking. Neo will drop Hoods G, so the only CTs left are coming from Banana. Releases heavy tagged himself. Can we see a, a great turnaround? Neo gets on the score sheet. Was that twice? Three times. And explodes all over an Nexus. Lovely three man there from the... Uh, who I believe is a Russian player, is it? No, that's Overdrive. Neo is uh, is Polish. My bad. Anyway, Russia, Poland, same thing. No offence, man, but... <laughs> anyway, 6-0 to Nostalgia. Let's have a look at Kenny S. Tell you what, he's been magical. Absolutely magical. I mean, I'm not sure whether he'll carry on the same form throughout the, the remainder of the game. Definitely wasn't this prolific in the other maps, so uh, he definitely... Is an Inferno fan himself. He knows exactly where to peak and when to peak at the right time. So the terrorists making their way into this A bomb site. Kenny S will drop Hudge G with that AWP of his. And Rattlesnake prepares him and the rest of his players for this rotation towards the B bomb site. Kenny S is going to try and peek MX, but MX will land that bullet onto his face. Neo as well getting in, getting in on the action. Apex as well now. It's all down to Rattlesnake and Release to see what they can do, whether they can prevent this plant occurring here on the B-bomb site. Overdrive will push him and take him down. So Release probably, not Release, sorry, Rattlesnake should have probably awaited Release to make his, his way to the B-bomb site. I mean, he didn't want a Nexus to plant the bomb, but considering it was 4 versus 2, you, put, you would probably put money on the fact that Another terrorist would have been on the bomb site there, not just pushed the the bomb planter like that. Anyways, release will pick up that up and will now fall back to T steps and look to save it, possibly to give it to Rattlesnake. Can he get an exit frag? Yes, he can. As he lands that big nine millimeter, not nine millimeter, what is it? I don't know. Lands another one onto Overdrive as well, so I'm not quite sure how how uh, how big the AWP bullet is, but. Uh, <laughs> Let's put that to one side anyways. So 7-0. Um, I'll tell you what, this is a CT-sided map as well. <laughs> so uh, uh, Nostalgia, not Nostalgia, sorry, Inexus are in uh, are in trouble. Again, let's watch Kenny S. I mean, so far there hasn't been much to talk about. It's just been Nostalgia walking into bomb sites and Inexus not even trying... Well, it looks like they're not even trying to keep them out. MX has something else up his sleeve, so can we finally see the first round on the board for a Nexus? MX falling back into that B-bomb site. Apex throwing smokes left, right and centre. And it looks like Nostalgia are finally, for the first time, going to go into the A-bomb site. I'll tell you what, it's not going to make a difference. Rattlesnake running away has his head taken off from that AK-47, from that Kalashnikov. And Overdrive now in upper apps. The bomb is down. And Kenny S... Had his eyes on that apartment, but on that library, sorry, but I think a bit of miscommunication between him and the rest of his teammates. So his teammates smoking it out. So he is going to fall back, and MX and Release are going to, by the looks of things, look to save their weapons. Well, you know, my message to them is you can keep saving your weapons, but if you're not getting rounds on the board, then essentially these weapons that you're saving, at the end of the day, are going to mean nothing. The way I see it, it was three, it is, sorry, three versus two. Um, throughout this whole final game, we've seen Nostalgia go for clutch rounds in the sense that where they're a man down or something along those lines. Inexus, I, can't, I legitimately can't remember one round where I've seen Inexus, be it two versus, uh, be it two versus one, where we've got one Inexus player against two Nostalgia players, or in that case, two Nostalgia players versus... Uh, uh, sorry, three and X, uh, bloody hell. <laughs> or oh, three Nostalgia players versus two and Nexus players. And Nexus just haven't, they don't look keen enough to win the game. I mean, if you, you know what they say, if you don't win a ticket, 
Well, you're not going to win the raffle, and three versus two. Probably a lack of self-confidence from Nexus. I don't know, but Nexus, whatever it is, are going to have to sort it out. I mean, they're... You can't really call this holding B either. Holds G now by himself on this B bomb site as Nostalgia will start this push. Taz gets on the score sheet twice and Rattlesnake looks to rotate now. Anexis cannot hold that bomb site and the bomb will go down. And the French, well, not the French players, the uh, European mixed team are up, oh, just all over them now at the moment. Looked like a team name from Apex, but didn't seem to do any damage. Rattlesnake and Release now, the only count terrorists alive. Overdrive will drop Release. Does he know Rattlesnake is there? He does now. Rattlesnake will pick up that kill onto him. Via that FAMAS. And what can Kenny S do? Ooh, Kenny S missed that shot. And that's not something we see from Kenny S more often. Uh, very often, sorry. Rattlesnake hiding now in the apps area. They know where he is. He's being spammed through the walls. Question is, do Nostalgia know that? And down he goes. You can run, but you can't hide. Now was Nostalgia's motto towards Rattlesnake there. Nine nil to Nostalgia, everybody. Nine nil on a CT side, which is arguably one of the most CT sided maps on Counter Strike, bar perhaps Nuke. Um, even though after changing Nuke on Counter Strike Global Offensive, it's become slightly more even because uh, what used to be called back steps is now front steps so anyways looks like we might see a B push now Rattlesnake with that AWP he has changed round and Neo lands that AK-47 headshot one bullet is all he needs to take down Rattlesnake and Nexus once again not good enough and they're in trouble there's no other way to put it I mean it's hard to believe that this very same side beat Nostalgia on DDoS 2 and it just goes to show how important being familiar with maps really is on Counter-Strike you can be a good player you can be part of a, you know, your whole team can consist of decent players. But I'll tell you what, if you can't function as a team on specific maps, then you're not going to win games. And this is what we're seeing from Anexus here. They're very good on DDoS 2, but then again, everyone knows DDoS 2. And uh, Anexus, if they do stick together after this, they're going to have to step their game up a little bit. So 4 versus 2. Husey and MX, the only counter-terrorists alive now. MX will drop Neo with an exit frag. Three versus two. And again, the bomb is down. Three versus two. I mean, Husey has an AK. MX has an M4. I mean, it's... Uh, nostalgia. Nostalgia are just... Nostalgia have left the bomb. Because they know Anexus aren't going to bother and try and defuse it. And instead of Anexus trying to perhaps capitalise on that, Nostalgia just chasing them down like a game of cat and mouse. Three versus two, Anexus. You've got the quality in your side to try and, you know, take on three terrorists. Why is it Kenny S can take down three of you with a Glock when you guys have M4s? And I don't know. You know, this isn't, you know, an attack onto a Nexus or anything along those lines. Or, well, not a Nexus. Being, I work for a Nexus, but this particular Nexus Counter Strike Global Offensive lineup. But I think they've been far too negative throughout this whole game. Um, throughout this whole final, sorry, and even even not just this final, all their games so far, the Prague Challenge, we just haven't seen the confidence flowing through them that we've seen from them in the past. Rattlesnake will finally get a frag for nostalgia, and Kenny S has been dinked, but he's still going for it, and that is the kind of determination which has uh, made Kenny S such a good AWP. And look at him, just treating that AWP like it's a rifle. He's going to push Rattlesnake, but unfortunately, it didn't go according to plan for him, and Rattlesnake. We'll get two kills. So, four versus three in favor of Anexus. Sorry, made that three versus three. Neo evening out the scoreline. He's made his way through CT spawn. Release knows he's going to be there. They're going to spot each other. Neo also thinks there might be a CT on B. But we know he pushed down Banana. So, Neo and Overdrive. Now, Overdrive is elsewhere on the A-bomb site. And Release actually ran away from Neo. And I hope Release hasn't actually forgotten that Neo is there. Neo threw that flash. Overdrive is going to try and cause problems. We'll take down Rattlesnake and Release. And Anexus, I'll tell you what, Anexus were a man up and they've thrown it in away. <coughs> As Nostalgia blow through Anexus very, very easily and get round number 11 on the board. I mean, I wonder, I wonder how long it will be until we see Nostalgia running up Banana with nothing but knives. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. I mean, there's no other way to describe it, really. I mean, it's a final. 
you want to sound motivated, you want to sound excited, but it's hard to uh, sound excited or motivated when all you're seeing is is one team get absolutely raped by the other. And I have to apologize for using that word, but I can't think of a word more suitable. But anyways, let's take a look at how the li they're lining up. <laughs> and Exa is talking about their problems on the B bomb site. I've only gone and placed three players on B, and Nostalgia have only gone and pushed the other bomb site. So let's see what they can do. Smokes being placed in the right places. And we might see a push now from Nostalgia. I don't think we'll get a frag. Kenny S has something else up his sleeve, and so does Apex. So four versus two. And Taz pushed the B bomb site. He was waiting to hear when the CTs would rotate. And then textbook stuff went in from behind him and got an easy frag so now can we act finally see a nexus attempt to try and retake a bomb site fair enough it doesn't look like it's gonna go very well for him where's Huzz G? he's gonna make his way around arch and he is gonna drop to down to death and he needs hospital after that because he has a bullet lodged in his brain 12 nil to nostalgia oh dear oh dear oh dear oh dear oh dear i mean this reminds me of chuckle vision Paul and Barry, for those of you guys who uh, used to watch Chuckle Vision, is when something goes wrong, say, oh dear, and then the co comment well, not the co commentator the other brother would say, oh dear, oh dear. And unfortunately, the Nexus haven't provided me with a co commentator So it looks like we're going to see a B banana push now. As the train comes in, Kenny S with that nice orc frag onto Husey. What can Huds G do with that M4 of his? He is going to get pushed. It looks like Nostalgia have changed their mind. Have they? I can't tell. Huds G is going to spray and Huds G is going to get dropped down. And look, we've got Rattlesnake. Actually, it's not Rattlesnake. It's MX coming in to join in on the action. Neo is going to push him. Can MX get this frag onto Neo? Yes, he can. He's going to get pushed by the remainder of the terrorists. Taz will take him down. Four versus two. And I'll tell you what, an Exis can't hold the bomb site for shit. There's no other way to put that, and I feel sorry for these goldfishes because they're just gonna get, just, just gonna, oh, just, oh, oh dear, oh dear. There's no other way to put it really. Release came in nice, two farmers kills. I didn't spot him, but it's 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 heartbreaking stuff from a nexus. It's heartbreaking stuff from a nexus. It's just quite simply not good enough. Um, you can't let, you can't let a team of this, I. I'll tell you what, Nexus need practice. Uh, I, I don't know what to say. I'm speechless. I'm gobsmacked. Um, we all expected a close game. Not 13-0 to the terrorists on DE Inferno. I don't know what to say. Anyway, Kenny S will get dropped by Rattlesnake, who's finally played slightly aggressive. Hopefully it'll pay off for them. And at the moment, it seems like it might pay off for them, because Nexus. I was going to say one man in front. May that two men in front release with a nice farmer's kill. And can we finally put our eyes on Anexis' first round for this map? Yes, we can. Hallelujah. Let's G lands the farmer's shot onto, onto Taz. And believe it or not, Nostalgia aren't going to go into the second half with 15 rounds. Are we going to see 13-2? Only time will tell. Anyways, let's take a look at the score. Well, that's probably more entertaining than the whitewash happening at the moment. Release with 12 kills, 10 deaths. He, he has played pretty well, to be fully honest, for a Nexus. He is the only one on a Nexus with a positive KD. Rattlesnake on 7 to 13. Hunchy on 6 to 14. MX on 5 to 13 and Musi on 6 to 13. Kenny S topping the scoreboard for Nostalgia and uh, he has been the man of the match or man of the map so far with 16 kills, 6 deaths. Apex on 11 kills, 9 deaths. Taz on 13 kills, 8 deaths. Overdrive on 13 kills, 5 deaths. And oh, uh, Neo, sorry, on 12 kills, 8 deaths. So uh, apologies for covering the game with uh, the, the scoreboard but. I can assure everyone you haven't missed out on much. It's just been a uh, nostalgia whitewash. Now, um, well, are we going to see a comeback? I mean, I think if we were, if we, if we see an Nexus comeback, then it would be the greatest comeback in the history of Counter Strike Global Offensive. Probably not the history of Counter Strike Source. We've seen a lot of good comebacks in both 1.6 and Source. Now anyway, let's have a look at how nostalgia going to line up. Um, Typical 2-3 split that we see on Inferno, nothing new. And uh, we're seeing a second mid pistol push, which is something we see from a lot of English Inferno teams, or at least something we saw from a lot of English Inferno teams in Counter-Strike Global Offensive. And let's see, we're going to really 
put our eyes on anything different. So we have seen Release make his way through lower up. So two kills apiece for both sides now as bullets are being shot left, right and centre. MX pulls the trigger. MX takes down two players. And now Release in pit by himself will throw that flash to try and keep off some of the CTs. Also throws that bomb. Actually, no, he failed at doing that. Oh dear, he's been tagged in his head. Neo gets that kill onto MX. Hurricane Husey from behind. Flanking and taking down Overdrive. And now it's all down to Neo. This two versus one clutch. Can he pull it off and get the uh, match point for Nostalgia? Obviously, we know Release is only on 12 HP. So one bullet would probably take care of a Release. If Neo can manage to land that bullet onto Release. Release is going to push him. Neo's going to take him down. And Neo with the two versus one clutch. Well played, Neo. Gets match point for Nostalgia. And uh, like I said before, I wonder how long it will be till we see Nostalgia playing an all-CT round with nothing but knives. But... Oh dear, oh dear in excess, oh dear, uh, I was going to say 16, 15, 1 to Nostalgia, 15, 1, Nostalgia being the mixed team and Exus being the proper team, oh dear, anyways, it looks like we're going to see a train rush now of terrorists making their way towards that A-bomb site, Kenny S with a pick near T-steps as the T's start making their way into this A-bomb site, Hoods G will, get, will take down Neo, Overdrive, Apex getting themselves on the score sheet as well. So two versus one. What can MX pull out the bag now? And MX is going to fall to his death. And Nostalgia are the champions of the Prague Challenge 2013. Thanks for watching.